Hey guys, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha. I am Andrew. This is our third time doing the intro. <laughs> I'm about to nail it. We are trying bitchin' sauce or dip, whatever you want to call it. There's 13 of them. We got four. And I feel like I'm cussing, but that's actually the name of the company. Yeah. That. Why does it feel like we are grown adults? Yeah. <laughs> Why does it feel like our mom's about to like bust through the door and be like, what did you just that's, say? That's because my mom is. I can... <laughs> feel my phone vibrating already <laughs> oh my goodness um yes so we will attempt not to say it for children watching it for the rest of the episode but that is what this brand is called um we have tried the original one but i don't think have we tried any other ones i don't think so yeah i feel so, like i ever remember this yeah um so the this is uh an almond base dip company mm -hmm. um i am 99% sure that every product they have is vegan. So it's like a completely vegan company. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think that they have anything that is not. Um, but so the one that we did try, we we liked this. We've bought it again, um, but we kind of wanted to see how the other ones stack up that we haven't tried. Yeah. Um, and this is what we could find at our local store without ordering all 13. But I also, I think we've kind of gotten away from trying so many items in a video yeah we kind of have and i i feel like we're, we've been getting some feedback about that because people some people like long videos some people don't we just talk too much in general so our <laughs> videos are longer than they should be but in general um i i kind of feel better that we try less because like when i'm done i don't feel like i right. need to go sit in the bathroom for a while yeah like so. it, it's not heavy on our bodies yeah after so long so you want to just jump in i guess well i guess let's tell you what kinds we have okay. we have um so we only have one that looks like it's a sweet kind yeah it is uh chocolate sweet sauce um which is one of them the next one we have is cilantro chili um never heard of that in any combination anywhere right uh you want to do next to uh, their original one, which is the one we have tried, and then it is a Chipotle style one. Um, and so as far as allergens go, um, it is almond based. I'm pretty sure the sweet one is almond based as well, right? It is, wait, does it say it on the front or something? No. Okay. Okay. Made with it. almonds. It actually oh, okay. says it yeah. right there on the front. Um, so mine have almonds and soy inside mm -hmm. of both of these. Is that Does yours have soy inside of it? Mine has almonds and coconut, no okay. soy listed. Um, so all of the savory ones contain almonds and soy, and then the sweet one has almonds and coconut, you said. Yep. Um, so unfortunately, if you are have a nut allergy, you can't have these. Um, they do all say gluten-free on the top of them. Does that one? Sorry, I said that, but... Top as in like up here somewhere? Right here. Yeah, it says it. So all of them are gluten-free, non-GMO. Um, you always like to call out when it's like a very clean ingredient list. I was literally looking at that and just waiting for you to, to stop because I was, I was yeah. going to say the same exact thing. So like on the original one, it's literally wal wal walmond is what I was going to walmond. say. Walmond. So I was... Walmond. <laughs> walmond. <that? Walmon. laughs> You're like speaking patois yeah. at the same time. Water and almonds is what I was trying to say. Walmond. Um, grapeseed oil, lemon juice, nutritional yeast, uh, liquid aminos, garlic, spices, and sea salt. Like that is literally it. So, yeah, and yeah. then you have a very similar one for the sweet. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I was, I was literally trying to count it. I wasn't gonna read all of them off, but like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah. About 12 ingredients in here. That's right. not that's not bad at all. Now, while you were For counting... For something processed, that is. Yeah. While you were counting, I, I find it interesting that the uh, sweet one also has nutritional yeast inside of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know that I've ever... We eat nutritional yeast a lot. Like, we put it in different sauces and I throw it on my salad and stuff like that, but... I don't know that we have personally ever combined a savor or a sweet thing with nutritional yeast. So I'm True. kind of curious. True. Yeah. Yeah. Just haven't uh, crossed that bridge yet, but ideas, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> now so. his wheels are spinning as soon as I said it. Like. Next thing up is nutritional yeast babka with <laughs> chocolate sauce. <laughs> like, Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Before this is 90 minutes long with four products, let us get into... Uh, do you want to do the sweet one first or the savory one? Nah. Let's, let's keep... Save it for last. Sweet for last. All right. Um, these are just regular tortilla chips. Actually, um, 
this is not sponsored by Walmart. However, um, this is Walmart brand of tortilla chips, but they say lightly salted. And I feel we love them so much more because it's not like, oh my gosh, I have like a mouthful of salt in my mouth when Pretty much. you're eating. So. I feel that sodium like, intake just shooting up there. Yeah. So I actually found these at Whole Foods, but um, they different retailers have them. I know Target, some Targets carry them, and then like places like, uh, like I, I don't honestly know. I was gonna make. Wait, something. what? I was gonna make something up. You were gonna like... make something up. <laughs> you was gonna tell people just a just some made up thing and hope it was true. <laughs> no, I thought that I had like an idea, like a not an idea. <laughs> I'm just digging myself into a deeper hole. Oh my god. I thought I knew of another store. Oh my god. But I was like, actually I don't. Our natural health store that's local to us has some, but not all 13. I can't get I don't know off. if anyone carries like all 13. Like that would be insane. Right, I need to get a napkin. Oh, okay. Um, so what am I doing? Am I just dipping right now? Are we waiting for you to come for back or what's, what's going right on? Um, I will say like compared to like some other, it is called a sauce. Like you said, call it like sauce or dip at the beginning. Yeah. Um, it. I would say you have to call it a sauce because it dips to me are thicker. Actually, we'll take a, like a little clip. Um, but this is very saucy. I don't. I don't know if there's any definitive to say whether something's a dip or a sauce. Yeah, I don't know. Is there? Is there a, an answer out there? Somebody leave a comment. What's the? I difference mean, even if they do, I don't believe them. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I don't believe you. Like a dip and a so like, what does it matter? It's like, we're just Americans. We call everything 40 different things. Mm -hmm. I love this sauce. Like, what do you mean? Like, like how much do you love this sauce? Like, I think it's one of like the best sauces prior to being vegan, vegan out there. Okay. It has like such a, I don't even know what the taste is. like. Bitchin' flavor. You're not supposed to say it again. Oh, sorry. But it's, it's the, you know what? Yeah, I mean, it has to be the combination of like, spices with the, it says liquid aminos, but like basically soy sauce for people that don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. um, but like, it's like umami, but it's like light and refreshing. And I don't know, it's just, it's really good. It's a good sauce. Yeah. I, I agree. It's uh. You started saying a mushroom thing, but it don't taste nothing like mushrooms, I'll tell you that. It tastes well, really not, good. Not all umami things are mushroom based. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Like it's just like that like earthy and now you see, savory. It, you said earthy, it don't it don't taste as good no more. Oh my god. It, it sounds it sounds a little off putting. Let's look up the definition of umami. When you say like so earthy that's the problem. When I see earthy on a box, I'm like negative. I'm not touching that box or that thing at all. Cause the description earthy gives me like I'm I'm gonna taste like soil, grass, yeah, grass. Like soil. Yeah, yeah, like this soil. this combination of like my my backyard garden. So savory. It says umami or savoriness. So I said like earthy, savory type of taste. Um, it, so it says examples besides. I can't, you said I can't mushroom. get this over. Like, like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling on it, but my hands are like so. So uh, it says like moist. vegetables, like tomatoes. You said moist. Yeah, I was trying not to, but I couldn't figure out another word. So um, it was it was the right thing to do. Tomatoes, mushrooms, seaweed, um, MSG, like those are all bring out like umami flavors. The next one we're doing is chipotle. Um, Flavor. Okay. So, what what do you think the little specks are in it? It, it kind of looks like flaxseed to me. I I would assume that that is the blended almonds. Like you know, like they it's not. It's blanched not blanched almonds. almonds. Jinx. Yeah. Now this one, this one is thicker. You agree? Like it's much thicker than the original one. Um. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's not like. You went from like a water thickness to like straight up chocolate syrup. Yeah. Like ever ever so little bit, th like maybe one was in the fridge longer or something or in a colder spot in the fridge, I'm not sure. But the, the texture seems similar to me. This is a good sauce too. This, um, this Chipotle one. Yeah. Honestly, it tastes like that, but with a little spice to it, to me. They literally That's... added like Chipotle chili powder. 
to this into one. this one, yeah, and and, and and boom, they called it a day. It's not like we couldn't look at the ingredients to see what the difference is, yeah. right? But that either way, I, I think it's a it's a really good one. Yeah, I agree. You seem to be strong today, so I'm not, uh, <laughs> or I'm just weak. I don't. You worked out this morning. <laughs> I didn't, so your muscles are a little my, sore. My finger strength isn't there. Oh man! What happened? One in my hair. All right. Watch out for you and sauce flicking. Sauce flicking. Sauce flicker. What's what is this one? The cilantro. This is the chipotle. The cilantro chili. I'm 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 complete. I don't know why, but when I hear cilantro and chili, I I, I want to say lime, and I don't know if that's in here. Oh, I get what you're saying. But for some reason, I just want to. Like, it's just a thing for me. Well, cilantro and lime go together a lot. Um, it says there's lemon juice in here. Maybe they should add lime instead. It's very cilantro-y. Um, I was thinking that, but I like it. Yeah. I like cilantro. I think you are like... You don't necessarily like to put fresh cilantro like on top of your tacos or something, but like you like it maybe like in something, like hidden a little bit. Um, I like fresh cilantro in my, uh, is this something on my beard? No. Um, I like <laughs> fresh cilantro in my uh, tacos. It, it's just, I, I mean, if you're saying like seasoned it heavy or something, no, I, I like it like sprinkled in there. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you are someone who does not like cilantro, this one is not for you. Do you have a preference, like, as you're trying them, or is it just like, I want a little bit of each, maybe for different times or something, but you like all of them? Yes, this is completely the uh, the occasion thing for me. Like, it's kind of like, you know, which one do I want today mm -hmm. kind of thing. Right now, I don't have one that's like, for me, better than the other, besides the fact that if I was buying them, more often I would probably buy the Chipotle one myself. More often. Okay. But I wouldn't say it's like my favorite out of all of them. I just I just prefer it. Yeah. I I think I if I had to only pick one. It's gonna be this one. Yes. My strength wore this, off. This, after this one, three. this one is the um original. The original one. When you say only this one. Uh oh. She lost it. I lost it. You lost your muscles? Nope, I got it. Uh, oh yeah! I see you. Uh oh. I'm so scared like it's gonna go everywhere. Why are you squeezing the arm? I'm squeezing the muscles. Oh lord. All right. For I had to look back here because for a second I thought I thought you had us dipping tortilla chips in the chocolate sauce. No, well I I started to only get. Like what kind of savage is she? <laughs> I started to only get tortilla chips and I was like, wait, I don't necessarily think I want. Tortilla chips with the, uh, and then this one is really thick. That's what she said. Oh my gosh. I, oh, wait, am I supposed to say that either? No, it's fine. Oh, okay. I don't think they know what that is. All right. All right. I feel like I have so much cilantro in my mouth. <laughs> you got cilantro in your mouth. Like, I needed to cleanse my palate. Before putting. tasting chocolate. Okay. Oh, it wasn't no count. I guess we didn't really count down on the rest of them, huh? No. It tastes like chocolate hummus. Like brownie brownie batter. Right? Yeah. It does. Do you like it? I feel like you're a little hesitant. I was trying to find an association, and I think you found it before, like I did. So oh I was, yeah, like licking the brownie batter off this. But, well, you don't do that. I, I was gonna say there's a. Uh, Andrew's very like a stickler for the flour can kill salmonella poisoning too. I ain't dying just because I want to lick some some brownie batter. I'm not doing that. Do you guys leave a comment? Do you guys lick the beaters or the spatula? from cookie dough and brownies you, and stuff. I, look, they can do what they want to do. <laughs> I'm just curious. I don't who, care. Who does it and who does it? Look, y'all do what y'all want to do. <laughs> All I'm saying is I'm not doing it. I don't even care when she do it. But, you know, actually I'm lying about that. I do care when she do it. Cause what will happen is 
when we go to bed, she'll be laying in the bed and or we'll just be sitting in the bedroom watching TV. And there's a couple of things that happen. Consistent complaining about how her stomach feels. And then consistent air in the, in the top or the bottom. So it's, that's the problem is that like it's, I just can't deal with all that. I can't. So I'd be like, yo, don't, dog. you you don't, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Cause then I got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, y'all know what I'm saying. You lie like dog. You know what I'm saying. All right. So depending on where you find these at, they are roughly five to $6. So $4.99 or $5.99, depending on the store. Okay. Um, which I, I feel like is on par for the most part with like, specialty dips and stuff like that okay um it is i mean it, it's high for like if you were buying this like once a week with everything else that you need to buy yeah no um twenty dollars worth of sauce <laughs> by the end of the month right like, that's uh that's a little reckless all right so we had the original chipotle and cilantro they also have a spinach artichoke a bombay flavor bombay um a pesto one just called heat, which I'm assuming is very spicy. Woo! Roasted green chili and pepitas. Mm -hmm. Buffalo and green onion. So that's of their savory dip flavors. And then okay. as far as the sweet ones go, they have the chocolate that we have. They also have a salted caramel and an apple pie. I'd like to try those. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe we'll do a part two and actually order them since we know we like more than just them. Yeah, <laughs> I know, one. right? It's crazy. We got a, we got a bunch of these. I wonder if we can find other like sweet type of sauces and then maybe do like a taste test with them. Other sweet sauces? Yeah. That's uh... Not necessarily that... like a ranking taste test, but just like, is this good? Is this not good type Got of it. Thing. Okay. I see yeah. what you're saying. No, I would, I would, I would probably be down for that. The, the like ranking between them when they're not like, I don't know, like sweet sauces. I don't know. They don't necessarily compare to each other. Like chicken nuggets to chicken nuggets. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, like oh, it's chocolate. Oh, this one is also chocolate. It's yeah, also like, good. It's like, like, yeah, it's all good. It's, so it's kind of hard. I will say, so Aldi has like this hummus uh, container that contains like different types of hummus. Oh, like that four. Yes. Yeah. So it's like original garlic. There's like a jalapeno one and then something else. It doesn't matter. Um, but it would be cool to see like a brand that has so many different sauces like that do yeah. something similar because it would be great for a party, like to have like different ones at the same time versus just like only being able to afford two. Like, I mean, that, that would that would be exactly what we just said though. You'd be spending like $20 in sauces because well, yeah. all of them would be on this But So I'm saying like half this four. amount. So maybe you spend $10 and you get like a little <laughs> container of each one. I don't, yeah. I don't know. It's <laughs> My business mind working, like I would like, or not even my business mind, me just like, I would like this personally. Yeah. Please make it I happen. I want to say that. <laughs> I want to make that's my a, own thing. That's a personal venture. Yeah. So. What else we got? I, I think that's it really. I mean like we're overall a fan of the brand. Yeah. Um, it seems like after trying more than just the one we knew we liked. Yep. Um, if you've tried this brand, uh, let us know in the comments and tell us what your thoughts are. Um, or if there is another brand that makes something similar that we should try, um, let us know that because we like trying food. Yeah. Um, Down. As far as future taste tests coming up, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Oh, we have ramen. Yeah. Um, we a do. A couple different types of vegan ramen that we found, so that's coming up. Okay. And then, that's the only one that I can remember currently. Um, all I was going to say is I was I was thinking of a different way of using this, um, other than like just dipping stuff in it. And I think this would actually make a really good like uh, s'mores chocolate. This uh, this this tastes pretty good to the point that like if I wanted to you know put some marshmallows down in graham crackers. I think I would like this on on that s'more. So it's funny, you were talking and I didn't want to interrupt you while we were actually eating it and yeah. I thought about idea for it. Yeah. And but and then I forgot about it because we kept talking about other stuff oh. and then you brought it up. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I was gonna say it would be because of how thick it is, it would be really good to scoop out like that middle part of a cupcake where you fill it. Yep. And then like put that put in, it in the middle. Of, yeah. Yeah. That another, would be, another good way of using it. Yeah. So that, that's all. Mm -hmm. Did you have anything else? I, I got nothing else. Nothing, nothing necessarily at all. <laughs>
We hope you guys like this video. I have no idea. Video. Uh, please like it, subscribe to our channel if you aren't already, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Believe in good. <laughs> have a great week, guys. Peace.